In this video, I'll show you the best OBS settings for high quality video recording. Whether you're capturing gameplay or your screen, this works great for both. It also works on PCs and laptops. Let's jump right in, open OBS, and go to settings. Now click on the video tab. Here, set both base and output resolution. If your monitor is 1080p, set it to 1920 by 1080. If your monitor is 1440p, set it to 2560 by 1440. I use 1080p, so I'll go with 1920 by 1080. Downscale filter, leave it on by cubic. For FPS, choose what suits your system. If you're recording games, go with 60 FPS. On a low-end PC, then use 30 FPS. I'm sticking with 60 FPS here. Now go to the Output tab, change Output Mode to Advanced. Click on the Recording tab, set your recording path. This is where your videos will be saved. Now for recording format, don't use MP4. Instead, choose MKV. Very important, why? Because if your PC crashes or shuts down suddenly while recording MP4, the file will be lost forever. But MKV protects your recording even if something goes wrong. If your editor doesn't support MKV, don't worry. I'll show you how to convert it to MP4 later in the video. Under audio track, keep it on track one. Now for the encoder. If you don't have a dedicated GPU, you'll see X264, but I don't recommend it. It uses your CPU and can hurt performance. If you have an NVIDIA GTX GPU, pick NVIDIA NVENC H.264. If you have an RTX GPU, choose NVIDIA NVENC HEVC. It's better, but only works with newer systems. Using AMD, pick the AMD encoder listed. Now, scroll down to encoder settings. For rate control, choose CQP. This gives much better quality control than CBR or VBR. Set the CQ level to 19. This is the sweet spot for most users. It gives you a balance between video quality and file size. But if you want higher quality, you can go lower, like 16 or 18. Just remember, the lower the CQ number, the better the quality, but the file size increases too. Here's a chart to help you decide. It shows how CQ levels affect quality and size. I recommend staying between 18 and 21, depending on your content. Now for keyframe interval, set it to two. For preset, choose best quality if you're doing screen recordings. Choose good quality if you're recording gameplay to save performance. If your GPU is strong, feel free to use best quality for both. For tuning, set it to high quality. Now, for multi-pass mode, choose two passes, quarter resolution for 1080p recordings, and single pass for 1440p or 4K recordings. Leave profile set to main. Uncheck look ahead. Make sure psycho visual tuning is checked. And for max B frames, set it to two. Now, let's fix the audio settings. Go to the audio tab. Set audio bitrate to 320 kbps for each track. This gives you crisp and clear sound. Now go to the main audio section in the left panel. Make sure the sample rate is 48 kilohertz. Set channels to stereo. That's it for audio. Now let's convert MKV to MP4. In OBS, click on File, then select Remux Recordings. Click Browse and choose your MKV files. Click Open, then click Remux. It will convert them into MP4 instantly. Now you can delete the MKV files. Want this to happen automatically? Go to Settings, then Advanced. Enable Automatically Remux to MP4. Now every recording will save as MP4, safely. That's it. You now have the best OBS Studio settings for 1080p, 2K, and 4K recordings. If this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!